Hello Warriors, this is Mars, and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord video. So in this video, it's just going to be gameplay showing off me supporting the the Allied Lord, and uh, things kind of take a turn for the worst early on. He ends up yeeting all of his soldiers into the enemy infantry, and I'm pretty much left to pick up the pieces. Luckily, I'm an experienced gamer, I know what I'm doing, and I salvage a poor situation. So, <clears throat> I originally wanted to talk about some of the tactics that I employed in this video, but it didn't, doesn't, I don't feel like it requires a whole lot of know-how. Just play cautiously, uh, make good choices, and don't overextend or feed your troops to the enemy. So I vaguely wish to talk about just general topics in the game so far. So the current patch, I think it's quite exciting. A lot of the NPCs, uh, well the enemy NPCs, perform a lot better in terms of fights. I mean, if you've seen any of the shorts that I posted recently, I mean, like a bandit's actually, well, bandit lords or bandit bosses actually feel like bosses. They will pit you. They will block most of your attacks, even if they lose their shields. It feels very, very challenging, and I like it. But my only gripe about it, I can't even say it's really a gripe. My only thing about it really is, uh... I don't know how it's going to feel like when you do solo in the beginning. I've said this multiple times, because as a solo, I mean... In the beginning, I'm just looking for loot. I'm looking for good loot early on, especially if I'm hunting, like, the Haramis or Forest Bandits. Hmm... Honestly, I, I probably would never go after Forest Bandit solo. It's a very unwinnable situation. You might as well be running headfirst into a Fion butt-ass naked if you're trying to fight Forest Bandits solo at low level. You're just not going to be able to do too much just because they have relatively decent armor. But anyway, I do like that change about the enemy AI. They seem to perform a lot better and they... It takes it takes more of a challenge rather than just to easily steamroll them, which is fun. The merchant system, or let's say the business aspect of the game, seems to be performing really well. Like even in areas where like you would typically suffer in the last patch, even if you chose the right business that should work in that region. Like if you were a blacksmith, or if you bought a blacksmith in like a the Deep South, Asgar, let's say Asgar in the Asurai territory. He should perform really well, but there will be times where it wouldn't. Like if you do it now, you could still make a profit, tell them the whole resources, and end up making quite a bit of money each day. So the, the, the business system is much better. I haven't messed around with too much of anything else except for looking for bandits. Ooh, I have noticed early on that bandits will congregate in larger groups now. I've noticed that there's uh, that you'll you'll more frequently run into larger groups, so it's it's a lot easier to get more bandit troops than what I previously noticed in the previous iteration of the patches. So I'd have to say that's a plus. I am really enjoying that aspect. Um, I can't say much. Oh, I guess I should touch on the crafting. I'm not crazy about the the random creation of rusty weapons, especially if I have the capacity to make good weapons. I mean, you can still make, you can still turn a profit, but uh, I don't necessarily enjoy that aspect of it. But it is understandable. I mean, you you learn how to make a an a thirty thirty k uh, fox blade and. You have like someone with absolutely no skill make one. I mean, I understand why it becomes rusty. That's the best application for it. But I feel like it could be something a little bit different. I guess I shouldn't complain too much. It does balance out the game a bit. Because, I mean, just pumping out uh, Fox Blade after Fox Blade or any expensive sword, it, it makes it very easy to stack up a lot of funds quickly. I also want to... I haven't been participating in many recent battles during 1.2.7 due mainly because because I've been playing other games 
but I am interested in the weather effect function to see how that comes into play and how it affects your companion lit parties rather than your own parties as well. I know it's a big difference, especially since uh, uh, I posted a little short on uh, one of my relatives fighting. And he performed pretty well against uh, against a relatively numerically even force. So that's something I'm kind of excited about doing as well, as well as participating in the battles myself. Another thing is, prison breaks have also felt very challenging recently. I'm not sure if it's been because of... I, well, I'm very certain it's because of the AI changes for enemies. But I've noticed that you're more likely to run into elite troops in prisons regardless of the uh, regardless of who you're breaking out. I have a few shorts posted on that as well. But uh, I think that's mainly all the topics I want to talk about. So I will be posting more Bannerlord videos, maybe more commentaries in the future. But mainly, uh, I think the content I'm going to be posting is going to be more gameplay and live battle related. Just because uh, uh, my schedule's not great right now. And I'm just going to keep that out there. A lot of my content is going to be more short focused and mainly clips that I think are interesting. Not to mention in my free time I am playing a bit more Elden Ring with Bannerlord. But I will be consistent with the uploads especially since I have plans to make a few Bannerlord series in the future. Series, not singular. But anyway. I'd like to say thanks again for watching and thanks for sticking around with the commentary. I know this was kind of a ranty uh, type of deal. But if you found anything interesting about it, please subscribe and join the channel. Anyway, thanks again for watching and keep on slaying. Peace.